What is going on? Oh, what in the world? Where did that guy come from? Oh my god. I did not see. I made sure there was nothing here whenever I... Boom, got him. But, oh, missed right there. Man, I thought that these guys were all heckin' dead. I just cleared this area out. I guess he, yeah, he had some armor right there. I guess why he survived. <laughs> Anyways, what is going on, guys? Uh, it, hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. <laughs> now, last time we left off, we, we just returned back to the Nether. And I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera between this episode and last episode, namely going back into the mines to get some diamonds, as well as to kind of kind of refurbish our base over here, whatever you want to call it. So now we actually have like a, a front area here just to make it a little bit safer from stuff like that happening. But uh, we have a front door over here, an iron door with a button, of course. And of course, on the inside, we've got a pressure plate. And uh, <laughs> and then I've got a sign right here, a motivational sign that says, Don't die out there. So that's pretty good. Also got some uh, some half steps or whatever over here as well. That way I can go up and down this pretty easily, which is nice. And I've also got a, Oh, you made a home alive sign right there. So that's pretty good. Also, I placed out a bunch of chests over here. And we've got a pretty good amount of organization. We've also got a, a thing over here as well, the back room. And there's a creeper in there, haha. -ha. No, really, there is. I'm not even joking. And I think there still is a creeper back there, you guys. But, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to close this off because stuff was spawning back here, so I didn't, I didn't want to have this completely opened off. And, uh, opened off? What? I didn't want to have this completely opened up, just in case any, uh, oh, I guess it despawned. That's good if that's the case, or it went somewhere else, I don't know. Either way, yeah, I, I just kind of got this walled off over here to make sure nothing can go into this main area. Of course, buttons over here as well. So there you go. Then uh, also, one thing I did <laughs> that I've got a sign here that says don't die. Uh, I also... Oh, no! Oh, wait, nope. I've got water down here, you guys. So it's really easy for me to come down here. <laughs> I, I, th I think some of you guys might have thought the uh, the heckin season was over right there, huh? But no, I placed down some water down here that way I could easily come down here and uh, go strip mining Which I did a ton of off camera because I found some diamonds, which was good But uh, you can see I've got a lot. I even have like secondary layers of strips going on right here uh, Where I'm going mining in multiple directions, you know every two blocks uh, That way I can kind of cover this side and this side of every strip here uh, that way, you know, it doesn't make sense to do it every other block. Uh, it makes sense to do it every other other block, I guess you could say. And uh, then, of course, we'd place another, start another mine right here, uh, here in the future. Didn't really find, like, too many more diamonds whenever I started doing that, though, unfortunately. But I did find a pretty good amount, so I, I guess I'll go back upstairs and uh, show you guys all the stuff that I've got going on. As well as those chests that I've got going on up there as well. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully got some diamonds. Yeah, I placed down a bunch of meme signs over here. You guys, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but uh, also, I placed down a painting over here just because I got some wool from a uh, sh some sheep I killed. So I placed down a painting over here just because why not? I have a little bit of decoration. It's the wither. Finna kill you next. <laughs> so hopefully I actually end up killing the wither and don't get killed by the wither here in this series, right? But over here, I've just got a... Uh, oh, whoops. What in the world? Wait, what? how did that happen? Oh, I guess I hit the F button and actually put the... Uh, oh, by the way... This was so lucky that I got this thing. Mending, Unbreaking 3. This thing had like 62 like durability out of like, I don't know what the full durability of a bow has. But I was fishing, and I'll show you guys that here in just a bit, but I was fishing, and this was like the second or third thing that I got while fishing, which was crazy, guys. We have a really good bow, and this mending thing is actually really interesting. That's why I have it in my hot, or uh, my offhand right there instead of a shield. Because apparently if you have it, like, as an active thing, like, uh, if it's on armor, if you're actually wearing it, if it's, like, a weapon, you have to actually have it, like, equipped, uh, in either offhand or, like, the main hand or whatever, uh, if you kill stuff, some of the XP, like, goes towards healing this item back up to full durability, which is amazing, you guys. Definitely want to get more, uh, mending here in the future, but we never really did have luck getting mending back in Hardcore Season 1. That was one of the things I was wanting to get, and I don't think we ever got it. I think we might have gotten it randomly on like a, a piece of like leather helmet or something like that i forget but never actually got on anything like this like a bow which is amazing now if we get like something like infinity or flame or something like that on this bow as well that'd be amazing although we don't have an enchant table just yet although we might be able to make one here pretty soon uh, either way yeah we just have a general stuff chest over here i placed down a campfire as well and then over here we have another stuff chest which Actually has not. I don't know. I don't know what I had at the end of last episode, but I'll just show you guys all these chests over here. We've also got a food stuff chest over here. Got some uh, some Nemo's there, some puffer fishes, and as well as some apples. What I was thinking about doing is potentially getting some of the spare. Oh, and by the way, valuable stuff there. Getting some of the spare gold over here, and then combining it together with these apples over here, and just getting some golden apples. I forget if you need four gold or if you need eight gold to uh 
Let's see. Okay, so you do need eight gold. So I, I can actually afford to get a few golden apples over here. So there you go. I got those from cutting down trees and, of course, apples dropping from the leaves. So that's really cool. Uh, either way, yeah, we have 24 gold left over. Kind of thinking about making another helmet. So there you go in case this one breaks while we're in the nether. That way we have a spare. Also, I have 14 diamonds right now. That's enough to make a chest, pl chest plate and a sword. So let's just do that on camera. So there you go. So now we're going to have a new uh, chest piece. Definitely want to... Oh! Cover me with diamonds. Nice little achievement right there. Nice. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably put that on when we go to the nether. But let's uh, grab some sticks. A stick, actually. And let's get ourselves a diamond sword as well. So there you go. And we have four diamonds left over, actually. So what do I want? We could use two diamonds to make an enchantment table. And I have some obsidian. By the way, I, I mined up the rest of the obsidian that was near that, like, obsidian like thing that was over there by the portal uh, I don't know what was going on over there I just mined all the uh, obsidian around there and all the extra so we have 12 right now I could actually keep two and still make another nether, nether portal I was thinking about making another nether portal in the nether in the nether fortress that way it's easy for me to kind of go back and forth from the overworld if I really need to over there uh, seems like that way I don't have to travel quite as long but of course that means I'm probably going to, have to build another base somewhere else on the overworld but uh, you know I'll worry about that off camera because all the overworld stuff I'm probably going to do off camera because this season two is basically going to be focusing in the nether, right? But uh, I have two diamonds left over if I do make an enchantment table to potentially because I've got 31 levels right now, which is pretty good. Uh, also, I might as well show you guys upstairs all the stuff. Oh, and by the way, I've got like blast furnaces and smokers over here, too, as well as a bunch of regular furnaces. So that's good. Oh, I've got some more gold over there. I guess I forgot to empty these out. Anything over here? I guess not. What about these furnaces here? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I had to get some stone there to make, like, what was it, the blast furnace or something like that. So, that was pretty good. Oh, whoops, I don't know why I'm putting that in there. Gotta put the gold over there. Then I've got cave stuff over here, you know, stone, cobblestone, dirt, all that kind of stuff, and just putting up over here. And, oh, I got some iron as well, so let's put that up over there. Oh, you know what, let's make a fresh set of iron armor. So there you go, pants. Let's make boots as well. And we're going to have a chest piece. We're going to have a gold helmet, so don't need to do that. So I'll just keep, uh... An extra set right there and I just already I already made an extra shield so that's good I'm going to be pretty prepared in that regard the food chest we don't have too much food I've just got one cooked chicken five cooked cod you know from uh, and uh, four cooked salmon 13 cooked pork chop uh, I do want to grab some of those extra campfires so if we go back to the uh, to the thing so we could actually use those to cook I might I might end up making another smoker too actually I right, think about it so let's actually get a enough to make a furnace there and I forget what you need to make I, I've basically been using the thing to the left little cooking book thing to figure out how to I think it's this right uh where is it that no that's a blast furnace there's a smoke right there so I just need some uh some logs which I think I have over here so it's just four of those and uh, I guess we'll take it to the nether and we could use this thing to cook up a bunch of heckin hog meat so that'll be good uh to do that a lot faster and, you know of course it'll require fuel like a camp or unlike a campfire but we'll worry about that when the time comes but either way I guess I'll eat that chicken right now I also did some oh Oh, yeah, that's another. I need to watch out. Make sure I don't use that uh, bow too much like that. Sheesh. Uh, you know what? Axe, I'm not going to use that too often in the nether, I guess. I guess I'll put the bow there. Keep the... F I, I, I always like having food on number five. And then I put the shield up. So there you go. Put the shield there. Got a pretty decent amount of torches right now. I don't, I don't remember if you could find torches in the nether now that I think about it. I might want to grab a decent amount of coal. That way I can make more torches if I need to in the nether. Let's just grab all of our coal, sure. That way, yeah, also we have some fuel to cook stuff in the smoker, so that'd be good. But uh, down here, didn't really do too much, you guys will notice. But once I go up this ladder, look at that. We got we got like a bridge up there, which is crazy. Which I liked, actually, because I, I didn't want to like... I, I wanted to go around this ravine, but of course, I'm like in the center of the ravine, ravine basically right now, so it takes a little while to go around. So what I have here is like a nice little bridge, and it looks like a lot of my saplings I placed around here actually grew, which is awesome. I'm glad that I placed those. Oh no! Oh wait! Another pool of water right here, nice! <laughs> and of course, some ladders right there too for me to easily go up, down, well, up the ladder, but down is super duper easy. Just fall into the water and up the ladders there and we're out of there, so that's awesome. Seems like we're about to go to bed here in just a bit, but I might as well use this last waking moments of daytime to actually show you guys the other stuff that I did up here. There was a pumpkin that was out here. I don't know if you guys ever noticed it, but I turned into a jack-o'-lantern and placed it right here, so that's cool. Also placed down torches all around the ravine to make sure, you know, nothing spawns there, as well as to make sure I know where the ravine edges actually are. Uh, also found some sugar cane. I've been growing it over here. And, uh, there you go, I'm just gonna harvest that. I know I'm kind of doing the meme for Minecraft Let's Plays, 
where it's like, oh yeah, I'll see you guys here in a bit, uh, I'll, I'll do some work, you know, a little bit of work off camera, and then you come back and the person has like a heckin' mansion and like, full diamond armor, full diamond weapons and stuff. I know I kinda did a little bit of that meme over here, but I also built a pier over here for me to do some fishing. Haven't really done too much, because, uh, you know, off camera I didn't, I was, I was doing a lot of other stuff. But over here I've got a fishing rod, as well as some random trash over there, like leather boots and stuff, so. If I wanted to go fishing over here, nice and safe, like, there's a lot of, uh, fences around here to protect me, and it actually, like, looks nice, too, so if I wanted to go fishing here, just have to wait calmly, and then hopefully we're going to actually catch something here in just a moment. Whoa, we caught something right there, what was that, just a raw cod? Uh, yep, I know the raw cod, okay, I'll keep that in my inventory. Uh, there you go. I put the golden apple down here, though. Just, it, I don't want to use the notch apple accidentally, so I'll just put that down there instead. Then we have a good amount of sugar cane right now. That's that's one of the things I was kind of saving up for, was, like, a book. So we're going to need, like, paper, and, oh yeah, we need leather, too. And I don't know how to get leather, you know, without killing you-know-what, so. I guess we can go and kill those hog guys. Those guys drop leather, I know that. If I wanted to make an enchantment table. Maybe we'll make that here in the future. Because I kind of want to go back to the nether and actually finish exploring that nether fortress, at least for right now. There you go, that's going to be more than enough heckin' uh, uh, sugar cane right there, you guys. Golly, especially if it grows, right? Oh, I'm here to scale a fella right now. Anyways, let's just go down, back into our bases, go to sleep. Whoa! And fall right there. One of these days, I'm going to fall down here, and that's actually how the heckin' season is going to end. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, like, land a little bit too far over here and like land on the ladder or something like that but that's why I place that little outline right there to kind of show me uh exactly where it's safe to jump because uh down here was already like a pool of water I just like dug into the ground and made it open up like that so that's basically all I did right there but let's go back to sleep now and uh the waffle house uh, I made a, a sign actually like three signs out of this like nether whatever that was and I don't really like how it looks that's why the rest of these signs over here are made out of regular wood so that's good Anyway, let's just go to bed real quick. Oh, God! Almost just end the season right there. Hopefully you wake up, haha. <laughs> so there you go. Cover me with diamonds. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's for the diamond armor right there. Cool. Anyways, I think we're pretty well set to go into the nether, you guys. Let's go back. Let's get our flint and steel, though, by the way. We're in the world that I put it. Oh, I think I put it over here. I think this is uh, the weapons and armor and whatever else chest over here. Yeah, had shears so I can get the, uh, the pumpkin to turn into a jack-o'-lantern, so that's cool. But... Uh, so I have the- I can make the portal in the nether. Let's actually figure out what my XYZ is right now, though, so... I can actually see how far away I am from- So I'm at negative 167, 39, that doesn't really matter, and 95, so... If I wanted to come back to this- oh, whoops! To this specific spot right now... Uh, let's get that off the screen, there you go. To the specific spot right now, from wherever the nether portal in the nether fortress is going to take us, then hopefully that'll help us out. Now remember, like one block in the nether equals like eight blocks in the overworld, so wherever we're going to pop up here in the overworld is probably going to be like a billion heckin' blocks away or something like that, because we, we actually got decently far away from the nether portal in the nether, so I can only, like, I don't know. I kind of like this area, but I guess we'll see where it pops up. Oh, look at that free arrows. We'll see uh, where it pops us out at. But yeah, over here you can see there are no more, like, random pieces of obsidian around here, so... Uh, except for, like, an, under here. Like, that corner and that corner underground. Uh, those are still obsidian, I think, but I don't think really that big of a deal. But let's go back into the nether, and uh, I guess we'll put on our diamond chest piece, put on our old gold helmet. Do I want to wear that one, or... Hmm... I don't know, I don't, I don't think it matters. Let's just put on our new iron armor there. Nice. Oh, we still have the diamonds, though. I... Ah... Uh, yeah, I probably should go put that up real quick. Just because, you know, get some stuff out of my inventory as well as, uh... Well, if I die, well, that doesn't matter. It's not like I'll lose it because that'll be the end of the season, right? So I don't know what I was thinking about right there. <laughs> but let me go put some of the stuff up real quick. I forgot to empty out my inventory. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed. While I was fishing, I actually got a saddle. I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, you do need a saddle to ride the Strider in the Nether, the, th the guy that can, like, ride on uh, lava and stuff. So I guess we'll take that saddle as well in case we actually come across a Strider. And, uh, gotta make that, like, mushroom on a stick or whatever. To actually, like, command him around and stuff like that, but... Yeah. I don't think I mentioned that just yet, but... Yeah, let's just grab that saddle to make sure we'll uh, leave it behind, right? Oh, and by the way, we have an extra shield right there as well in case it breaks in the Nether, so... We'll be good in that regard. And everything else, I think, is fine, so let's just go back to the nether portal. Oh, hold on, hold on. Real quick, though, I do know there were some spots where we didn't have enough ladders on the way back, so I might as well grab some wood over here, and I guess we can make some extra ladders out of this, so. Cut down these trees. Glad that I'm, like, there. this is a plains area right here, I think. So I'm glad that I'm actually starting to place down a bunch of uh, saplings and getting these guys to, oh, I shouldn't be doing that just yet. 
have... Oh, another apple, nice. It's going to be good, a uh, little bit of food right there. I don't know if we could actually grow these trees in the nether. I don't know if I ever tried that before, but... There you go, replant that bad boy. Let's go back through the nether portal, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to make ladders, that's why I went over here. Oh, we have a... We have a crafting table over... Like, literally right outside the heckin' nether fortress. Or, God! <laughs> the nether, uh... Portal, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. But let's go, let's go make some ladders, because... I know there are a few ladders that, uh, we're missing. So let's actually make a few right now, shall we? There it goes, 12 ladders. That should be good, at least right now. I don't know if there was anywhere else that we needed ladder. Oh yeah, there, uh, I can actually think of like two spots where we were kind of missing some ladders there. So yeah, I'm glad that I made those. But yeah, we're probably going to end up building our base somewhere out in the, like in our, our nether base that is, somewhere out near the, the open area of the nether. That way we're not like going to get lost or anything like that. And we're back into the nether now. Oh God, what in the world? Oh, these zombies must have gone through the nether portal and just got stuck over here or something like that. Holy heck, I was kind of surprised by that. Man. <laughs> now, where are we going? Oh, this way. Man. Hold on. Uh, there you go. Didn't want to accidentally go through the nether portal right there. Sheesh. But, uh, there we go. And let's go back, shall we? And, of course, place down some... Not torches, because I think we already have a lot of torches all over the place. But ladders, where we need to, because I think right here... Yeah, see, there are a few ladders missing right there, so let's just place these down here so we can actually get back to the nether fortress some lava there uh i think everything every, everywhere else is fine though there's just two torches missing there oh god oh these are oh i forgot to bring uh gold should i go back and grab some gold because i think i have some and we could mine some gold here i know that but we do have some yeah you know what we're not too far away if I, if I was a lot deeper i'd probably be like oh you know it's not worth it but yeah let me go back to the base at least off camera and grab some more gold real quick you guys and uh, we can trade with these piglins and actually get some loot from them. Hopefully some good stuff. I know we got some leather earlier on, so that's going to be a good way of getting some leather to make uh, some books to make uh, an enchanting table. And of course, to enchant some books and all that kind of stuff too. But yeah, let, let me go grab some gold real quick. God, man. I'm never going to be prepared for the nether, am I? <laughs> At least I'm going to be a little bit more prepared this time around compared to last time where, you know, we had iron armor, iron sword, all that kind of stuff. At least we have a little bit of diamond right now, which is good. We have 27 gold ingots there, nice! Oh god, oh god, I'm back in the nether, you guys. And there's a heckin' hoglin right here. He's above me, though, so I could easily get him. There we go, we got him. We got some raw pork chop right there, two of them. No leather, though, so that sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm back in the nether. Uh, I'll actually cut the video here and get back to the nether fortress itself, just to save a little bit of time here, so we could actually, uh, build that other portal that I was thinking about and figure out where that ends up, you guys, so. Let me just head on over there real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back here in the Nether Fortress, and I had to fight off a skeleton just a moment ago. But either way, I was thinking, like, maybe, like, right here is a pretty good spot, honestly. Oh yeah, and I also realized that I did- I only had the diamond pick when I came here, so that sucks. Uh, maybe we can find some iron once we get back to the surface here in just a moment. But, let's make this, uh... Ah, oh, remember you can make Nether Portals as big or as small as you wanted to? I guess we could do- you know what, yeah, let's, let's break a little bit here in the ground. There you go, that way. And, uh, I guess we'll make it this way, huh? Yeah, you know what? Or should I make it go this way? Where it goes like this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. That way, you know, in case I come through the nether portal, I don't- I, I have less likelihood of spawning off the heckin' edge like that for some reason, so... Let's just do that. And, uh, let's get the nether brick. There you go. And let's get the obsidian now. And start placing that down, shall we? So, three, one, two. One, two, and... Three, there you go. So we're going to have another another portal right there. And uh suppose we could have some nether rack back here. Just to show me. Okay, you have to go the other way, you hater. You can't uh you can't go this way. <laughs> so there you go. So hopefully uh I'll know which way to go whenever I'm going through that way. So that's gonna be good. At least down another brick. Oh whoops. Let's down some nether brick there too, why not? And uh there you go. Very nice. And you know what? Ah, that one little bit of There you go. One little bit of another rack there. There we go, we got it. Let's place a couple torches there, sure, why not? And let's light it up now. Okay, I got the flint and steel, that's good. And there we go, now it's lit up. So let's figure out where this is going to go. Let's go through the nether portal now. And let's see, where is this going to take us? Hopefully to a good biome, hopefully not underground. Oh, whoa, whoops. Man, it, oh, ah! It did take me underground, but honestly, I'm not going to complain, because we're like right next to the surface. It seems like a really safe area here, safe cave. So that's good. Some iron right there, which is good, so I can make another iron pick instead of using my diamond here during the nether exploration. So I suppose we'll grab some of that. There you go. We have one. Okay, I have enough for a pick, so that's good. Even, uh, oh, yeah, you know what? I can make multiple picks here. Nice. I do, I do have the smoker in my inventory. I, I don't think I could use that to smelt 
ingots, unfortunately. It'd be nice if I could smelt ingots and just smelt at normal furnace speed, but I suppose we'll have to grab a little bit of extra cobbledy cobble just so I could actually make another furnace. So we have five right now. And we have eight. Okay, so we have enough now. Now, where does this take us? I guess I could put some ladders here. Oh, uh, oh, some more iron there. Nice. Let's place down some more torches here just because at nighttime it's going to have some more stuff spawning. And I don't have more zombies spawning in the nether. Uh, so there you go. Either way, let's continue lighting up this whole entire cave over here. And some coal right there if I need it, but eh, I don't need that garbage. And there's another pathway that away. Some more iron here. Getting a really good amount of iron, even though... I'm like, I, I, did, I wasn't really asking for this much iron. I just need enough to get, you know, maybe one, maybe two iron picks for the nether. I, I doubt I'd be... Golly, there's even more over here. <laughs> I see our zombie, though. I want to go up to the surface and see what we have up there, though, you guys. There you go, grab those. Let's place another torch up here. Just prevent anything from spawning over here. Was oh, this going to take... Okay, it takes us out to, uh, to the surface, so that's good. Ooh! Interesting. That'd be nice if we spawned like right next to a heckin' uh, village or something. Oh yeah, how far away are we though? Hold on. Gotta turn this on now, so... Boom. Right, wait, oh god, yeah, we're really far away. Thousands of blocks away. I think we're at like negative 100 something. And I forgot what the Z was, but we're at 1856 and 1111 now. Or 1110. So that's kind of crazy. Let's put some torches here. Just in case I come back to this area at night, I'll be able to... No, there's a heckin' hole here, and I don't want to fall down and die, right? But, uh, there's a spruce forest there. Big mountain here. I like this. Seems like a birch slash flower forest over there, you guys. I wonder if we can find some bees. Doubt we really have a use for bees if we're going to be spending most of our time in the nether, right? But, yeah, look at that. We have a flower forest. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a beehive. Look at that, you guys. You can see that? I, I'll get close enough for you guys to see that. But, yeah, there's so many, like, different colored tulips and all that kind of stuff around here. It's kind of crazy. But man, this place looks amazing, you guys. There we go. There's a beehive right there. Or bee nest. I forget which one it is for the wild one. And which one is the man-made one. And then we have like a... Oh, even more iron right there. You know, I'll grab it. There you go. Sure, why not? Just in case I... Oh yeah, by the way, my gold helmet broke off camera. I was I was fighting some pig... Or hoglins. And my, uh, my gold helmet actually broke. So I'm glad that I brought an extra one. So I'm wearing that right now. So that's good. Also, if that one breaks, I have a little bit of extra gold in my inventory right now. To make another one if I really need to, but uh, hey, look at that. We found some bees over here, you guys. They love this biome with so many heckin' flowers and stuff nearby. It's oh, another one over there. Nice. And another one right there. And oh, wait, no, that's just uh, that's just a piece of wood that's kind of sideways. But man, three bee nests slash hives, like right next to each other, basically. That's crazy, you guys. You guys remember season one of Hardcore? Took us a while. Well, then again, that, that world was generated in like 1.14 or something like that, right? So we had to go like really far away from the from the spawn to actually get some Oh, there's another hive slash nest up there. But yeah, we had to go really far away from the spawn to actually find new generated 1.15 like biomes and stuff like that to actually find the bees. So that's why it took so long to find it there. But hey, we found them over here already, so that's good. But uh, if I wanted to go back down to this K oh I guess you know what I could do. Because I'm not gonna be using water in the nether. I guess I could just do this, right? So there you go. I wanted to go down there easily. Go down or up easily, so there we go. Nice. Let's down another torch here. Just kind of make up for the one that got broke by the heck of water. Let's go back to the nether, shall we? Let's make a, uh, oh yeah, uh, let's make a crafting table here. There you go. I guess we'll make a mini base here. You know what? This is actually a really good place to make a base. I love it. I think, actually, you know what? Like here, this cave wouldn't be too bad of a place that, like, I could board this up with some heckin' wood or something crazy. I could, uh, easily turn this into another underground base, I guess. Another overworld base, you know, eh, less priority than, uh... Oh gosh, we almost got a heckin' half stack of iron right there, unintentionally, sheesh. Either way, let's let that cook, and, uh, yeah, you can see I've got a lot of pork chops now, because I killed a bunch of hoglins off camera. Almost died from them, like, three times, which was crazy. That would have been crazy, although I was still technically recording, so... If I did end up dying during that, at least I'd still be recorded, right? But, uh... Yeah, let me just wait for all this iron to get smelted real quick, and I'll see you guys here in a bit where we're going to go back to the nether to continue exploring that uh, nether fortress and see if we can find any other loot over there, because that place was huge whenever we last went there, you guys. We only explored just a small little bit of it, especially when we were to come back. We, we just made a beeline to get out of there. We didn't even get to really explore it. So now that we're a lot more prepared with diamond armor and diamond weapons and stuff, I think we're a lot more prepared now to actually go fully explore this place, so let me just wait for all this iron to smelt real quick to get at least maybe like two or three uh, iron picks, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, back. Just made the third pick right there, so there you go. And uh, let's put the other sticks up over there. I was thinking, you know, if I need my inventory, I could just get rid of the bucket now, just because it's an empty bucket, and of course it's going to be basically useless in the nether. It's not like I'm going to- oh wait! Okay, there you go. That's, that's good. Okay. 
Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought the game was crashing right there. Thankfully it didn't crash. Ooh, that's good. Anyways, let's go this way now. So we went that way, that way, yeah. There was a magma slime there a long time ago, but I don't know where it is now. And if we keep going forwards, this is where the bla- Oh, there's another blaze spawner. Or another blaze right there. Oh, he's shooting at us. Remember, we could block with our, uh, shield now. Or, I guess we were always able to do that with this guy, but, uh... Oh, he's lighting on fire right now. He's charging up for another shot. Block. Nice, block both of those shots right there. Nice. Let's kill him now. Hopefully he doesn't float away. Oh, got him. Nice. Uh, if he dropped a rod right there... Oh, he did. You guys want to go get that? I don't know if we should or not, but, uh... Oh, a magma slime over there. You guys see him? Hmm. Is that all oh, another blaze up there? If we fall down there, we'll take a little bit of fall damage. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll fall down here. Fall down here. Take a... Eh, eh, half a heart. Already regen that. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Wither Skeleton. This must have been where that Wither Skeleton fell down. He just fell down, and there you go. Killed him, got ourselves a piece of coal or charcoal. I forget which one you get from Wither Skeletons. But, uh, nothing else over there, really. So, let's just build uh, our way up out of here now. Oh, uh, let's switch over to iron. So, there you go. And we're going to be using our iron pickaxes. Let's build our way into this now. And let's continue exploring this nether fortress, shall we? So, we can actually see if we uh, have any extra loot over here we can find. Because surely there's going to be a lot over here we missed, right? Oh, let's do this. There you go. Let's kind of make a new pathway here, shall we? There we go. Completely new pathway right there. Nice. I like that. <laughs> of course, this is a dead end, but I just want to check it real quick. Just in case there's anything over here. Yeah, I don't see anything. There's that soul flames over there, though. I know we can make, like, a soul campfire. Man, I forgot to read the comments and see if, uh... I said anything about the campfire. I usually read comments right before I record. I forgot to do it this time around, so that sucks. But we do have another will Wither Skeleton up there. Of course, we can kill them pretty decently easily with our uh, current setup. And we have some arrows right now we could use. There we go. Nice hit on him with full pullback. Another hit right there. We could probably get him with the uh, pick. There we go. Got him. No Wither Skull right there, unfortunately. Although there is another one right there. As well as... Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> Who can... Oh, the regular Skeleton's fighting the Wither... Oh, he knocked him off the and edge. Nice. And the magma slime's gone. Nice. This guy's going to get knocked off the edge if he keeps walking like that, though, but there he goes down. Still didn't get another uh, thing. I forgot what the drop rate is of the wither uh, skull there, you guys, but yeah, this biome right here is what I was thinking about making our uh, main base at, our nether, main nether base at, though. So maybe we'll come back here and make something up there or something. Actually build a bridge from there up to there. You know, make sure we'll, I can fall in that hole over there like we almost did that one time. Sheesh. Well, let's keep going this way. Because I think... Where were we? Where? Oh yeah, you can see where I bore it up. Where was it? So there's a staircase there. There's a staircase here. Wasn't there? There must not have been a blaze spawner over here, huh? It sounded like there was. Oh wait, yeah, there is. There's one right there, I think. Uh, is that a blaze or is that a... Oh, yep, that's a blaze spawner. Uh, boom, gone. Alright. That's kind of weird. I've never seen it, like, in the in a corner like this, but I guess, like, the weird generation of this fortress made it kind of spawn in a corner like that, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's safe to go across. That's good. There's another bridge that goes up to nothing, so... So just place a torch here. Where does this go? Down to death? Ah, eh, basically. Take a pretty good amount of fall damage if I'm not careful. Let's go down these stairs here. And let's see. Let's try and go back. Oh, wait. Where did that guy come from? What? He spawned out of nowhere. Oh, he's shooting. Yeah, look at that. Just block with the shield. That is so good. I don't know why I only just... Oh, he's charging up again with the flames. He's about to shoot again. Yep, there he goes. And there he missed both times. Well, we... We blocked both times, that is. He didn't necessarily miss there. Oh, oh, oh. About to shoot again. And he's going. Oh, oh! Man, did he hit? I don't think he, did he hit me? I don't know if he hit me or if I walked into the uh, fire right there. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's go back up this way. Let's keep exploring the second night of the fortress. It looks like, oh, oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's just go this way. Oh, two heckin' blazes there. It looks like they're guarding something over there. It's kind of crazy. But did you hear skeletons? I don't know if it's the wither or regular skeleton or what. Let's go this way. Another, uh, another warts there. Yeah, we were already here, I believe. Oh, God! There's like 15 of them out there! Where do they come from? What? Oh, no! Oh, my God! We still got hit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go behind that corner there. Jeez, I'm gonna eat again. I'm almost dead. Golly, how's our armor doing? Still doing pretty well. That's good, because it's a brand new fresh iron boots and pants. New, uh, gold, or, yeah, gold helmet as well, but... Diamond chest piece as well. So we're doing pretty well in that regard, but what's up here? Let's uh, place some torches here too. Oh, nah, I can't do it on stairs. There you go. Glowstone there. Regular skeletons there. Edamon over there. Which I, if I remember correctly, was actually decent rare into nether, right? 
and in the nether. And of course, we block these off while we're fighting against something. So, uh, so over here. Oh yeah, just horse armor. Ah, uh, my armor is all, or my inventory is already full, you guys. Sheesh. I guess I could drop a uh, that bucket, like I said, at least for right now, if I really need to get some inventory space. What's down here, though? Oh, there's some blazes over there. Yeah, wither uh skeleton down there, though. Guess I'll board that back up at least for right now. That's empty. Where's this all go? So up here is where some stuff was previously. Of course, we blocked that off a while ago. I hear a ghast. Yeah, there's nothing up here. And then over here, it goes out to nothing, I think, right? Is there really nothing in this nether fortress? Like, nothing that we haven't already explored? Oh, man. Three blazes there, gas there. Where's that going to hit? Oh! Nice, it didn't kill the nether fortress, nice. Yeah, I don't... I, I guess... I don't know. Oh! Wait, we were here, weren't we? Uh, yeah? Oh, boy, what in the world? Where'd that guy come from? He just spawned there randomly. Yeah, let's just... Okay, there you go. He shot his fire. Now he's going to be charging up. And he can't shoot us just yet, and there you go. Nice, got him. Nothing over here, right? Yeah, nothing there. Hmm. Oh, that, yeah, that's where we dug in. Oh, where's that go? Oh, that must be new. That staircase downwards there. How do we get to there? Uh, not here. Is it here? Oh, it is this. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I was never here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, keep going this way. Let's see where this goes. Is this continue on, or is it a dead end? I don't know. Let's see. I can hear some. What was that outside? I don't know, but yeah, look at that. The Nether Fortress continues that way too. So I really, really want to see. Oh man. Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, please, it's right there. It, that's just the top bit. It's not like an enclosed area like this one is. Oh, a chest over there. Nice. Let's keep placing torches. Although this might be a dead end right here, you guys. Oh, yep, yeah, eh, kind of a dead end. Literally gold there, not bad. And some gold horse armor. I, I wonder if I could trade this with them, guys. Now, you guys did say I could actually trade nuggets with those guys, the, uh, the piglins. I wonder if I could trade, uh, gold horse armor with them, too, so. Yeah, I'll grab one of them. Get rid of the bug, at least, for right now, so there you go. And I suppose we'll just head back. So that sucks, there's nothing else out here, huh? Oh, there's some strat- well, yeah, there are striders out there. Don't know how to get out to them, though. I, I really need to find one that's, like, relative- unless I, like, bridge my way out with a bunch of netherrack or something. That's probably the only way out to, to get out to them, you know? If I have a- a mushroom- oh, I forgot to make the mushroom on a stick thing. But I think it's, like, a blue one, isn't it? Like, that blue mushroom, so it shouldn't be too hard to find over in the, uh- oh, I heard that noise again. I don't know what that noise is. Must be something on top of us. Hmm. It's out there. That's a zombified piglin. Some more blazes over there, golly. I don't know how to get out to there. As I keep my eyes peeled, though. What's that up there? Seems like a wither skeleton and some more uh, zombified biglins, too. Alright, well, let's go this way now. See if there might have been another path that we missed out on. You know what? I kind of want to go down here. Seems like, yeah, that, that seems like that's the path. Oh! Hardcore! One heart of all damage. Oh, man, these go out to, like, actually nothing. What in the world? Have a heart. Yeah, they don't go out to anything. Unless it just goes into here, and then it continues on on through this. Oh, it does! Okay. There's a blaze right there, though, so... Let's let him shoot his fire. There you go, he's shooting a fire. Now he can't shoot for a few seconds. Or, like, two or three or something. So let's try and at least... Ah, man, he's gonna shoot again! He's lighting up! Uh, oh! Okay, he's not going. Let me get him with the bow, though. Ah, didn't kill him. And... Got him that time, nice. Did you drop a blaze rod? I don't... If he did, I'm not seeing it. I don't know what that is. Is that more... Uh-oh. Here, another one. Oh! Zomb okay, zombie right there. Zombie piglin, that is. But yeah. Ah, oh, here's nothing. Oh, wait, that was a uh, wither above us over there. Ooh. Or a wither skeleton, that is. But yeah, th this is just a pathway here. I don't think it actually goes out to... Has anything inside of it, right? Oh, oh, oh! Blaze! Yep, there's a blaze there and a wither skeleton there. Yeah, I don't think this actually go... Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to actually fall into that. Sheesh. But I think if it actually had a... An in door area, I guess you can call it. <laughs> I, I think I would have fallen into it right there, but there is something over there I want to go see. Looks like it might be, you know what, it might be another thing right here though, where we can dig through this and there might, we could probably get out to the other side. Oh, what's this? What lit up right there? There's another wither skeleton over there. Let's try and keep digging through this though. See if we can come to the other side of this thing. If there even is another side. 
I assume there is. There's a lot of netherrack right here. Or nether brick. And I kind of want to go trade with those piglins some more because I've got a decent amount of gold now, so. Kind of want to see what all we can get from them. Oh! Okay, yeah, look at that. Once again, it takes us to the other side. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, we thought this was a dead end before, but no, it's not. So there you go. I guess we can go fight that other wither skeleton right there so we can get a wither skull from him. Oh, gassed. I do have some arrows. I don't know how- I have six. So I could start- Oh, gassed is shooting at us. Oh gosh, he actually hit me pretty- Almost hit me right there, y'all. Oh, wither skull- Oh man, we're getting withered. Uh-oh, this is kind of bad. Oh jeez, we are dead. Food, heal up, heal up. Oh, we're healing up, that's good. Okay, let's go this way, let's go this way. I think I would have died right there, you guys. Holy heck. Where'd he go? I've got my bow. Oh man, there's a blaze shooting at us. I surely would have died right there if I didn't eat those pork chops. Specifically the pork chops, because they have better, like, health regens. Now those are trash, you know? Where'd he go? Oh, he, oh, he died! There's charcoal there, slash coal. I guess the gas killed him. Okay, that's good. Alright, well, this nether fortress didn't really fruit too many things. There's some more of that smooth sand, and she's like a... Oh gosh, where's that going to land? Yeah, oh, that probably would have hit me. Sheesh. Yeah, we have like the soul sand biome over there. Oh, there's a magma slime. I don't know if I should kill it. I don't know if I should explore that soul sand biome, you guys. But there is a ghast out there, which is good. I don't know where my... Oh, oh man, more wither skeletons there. I guess what I could do is this. This old trick, right? Because they're three blocks tall. Yeah, they're three blocks tall, so you can't go through that, but I can. Oh, they're above me now. So that's actually, actually a little bit better. <laughs> Although they're trying to go around now. So, there we go. Oh, whoa! Oh man, they were smart! They were smart! They went, oh my gosh, they fell into me right there. Holy, well they can't go into this cubby because it's three, they're three blocks tall, this is only two. Holy, that was crazy right there, you guys. I didn't see that hole above my head. But I am doing well in health now, so that's good. Hey, how's it going there, zombified piglin? Where do they go? Man, there's so many opportunities where I'm like almost dead. I need to get another golden apple. Or just get a golden apple there. Let's put that. There you go. But uh, yeah, they can't fit through this. So, oh, oh, yep. There's two of them right here. There you go. Got that one down. There you go. Hitting this one. There you go. He's down too. Yeah, I didn't did not notice. There you go. I could probably do that. Oh. Or the other one. Is there another? Oh, yep. There's one right there. Let's make him fall. Oh, yep. There he is. And look at this. Exploiting his height against him. And you can't hit me, but I can hit him. <laughs> Getting some bones from him that time. Yeah, no wither skulls there, though. So that sucks. But yeah, I kind of want to go down a little bit next. Let's see if I can mess around with that strider. But I kind of need to go back to the... Whatever that forest was. That has the trees and all that kind of stuff going on. Kind of want to go back that way. And I need to go down. And we need to find that, like, blue mushroom. And then I need to make... Oh, how do I do that again? Do I need to make a fishing pole? And if so, I... I, I have a string at home, but... There's a, yeah, I do need the fishing pole. Man! I've got some string at my main base. My main cave base. My main overworld base, that is. Yeah, just a regular uh, skeleton right there just shooting at me. Not that big of a deal. We can go back, but we can probably go back to the overworld here in just a moment. And, uh, man, Skelefella there, he's not going to give up, is he? Man! Oh, man, he's actually doing some damage. There you go. Wow! Got him. Where's this blaze at? There he is. He's, he's lighting up. He just shot right there. Where is he? Can I bait out another? There. Oh, okay, now he's lighting up. Oh, oh, there we go. We get, we bait out that hit. That's good. So let's see. Oh, he's, he's going to float up, though, so I can't get him. Let's try and get Oh, he's lighting up again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's going. Okay, we blocked it right there. That's good. Man, there's some heckin' zombified guy. Okay, there we go. We got him. Nice. Now we have two blaze rods. So that's good. And I'm down there. Man, they're having, like, a party down here. There's, like, a lot of them down there. Sheesh. But let's, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's go to this this mushroom base or mushroom biome or whatever this is over here, so you could find any more of those uh those things. And then it's going to be a little bit easier this way, right? Like it, it takes us straight over there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we had to climb through much, right? Like this way. Yeah, this way. Because I remember over here we had the slime, the magma slime, and then we went. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep. So this is going to take us to like the crimson forest or whatever it's called. So hopefully we can find some of those mushrooms. I think we only need like one to make the the thing. The the mushroom on a stick or whatever it's called to like command around those uh those striders, I think they were called. Oh, there's one down there, but there's a hog guy over there. Wait, isn't this supposed to like ward him off or prevent them from sp uh, spawning there or something? I don't want to myth bust this guy. Let's get our sword out just in case. But uh, maybe I misread the comment. 
But if I if I put this if I'm just like next to this and I get those those hoglins aggroed on me, are they even gonna come over here? Seems like they're not. Seems like they're pretty afraid of this mushroom. Like they're not coming over here, which is good. Hold on, what if these blocks are in the way? There you go. You guys are gonna come over here now? Not doesn't seem like it. You guys seem like they're relatively afraid. There's like three adults over here, which is actually kind of crazy. These guys do good damage. I do have gold on, or uh, I got a gold helmet. I've got a, I've got mixed armor right now. I guess I'll say with a diamond chest piece, which is good. I definitely want to enchant them, you guys. Definitely want to go home and uh, you know, to our main current main base, main overworld base, I guess they call it. But yeah, it seems like they are like afraid of it or something. Yeah, look at that. Like I'm getting a magger on me coming back to the mushroom. Huh? So that's good to know. So you know what I could do? Hit him. And then come over here, and yep, he turns around. Hmm. Very useful, especially if we're, you know, I should definitely keep one in my hot bar. If we're hunting hoglins, oh yeah, look at that, he's already run away. If we're hunting down hoglins, we can, we can place one down when they're pursuing us, and they'll just they'll just turn around, and we're going to have like a. It doesn't seem like it's that big of an, an aura that kind of prevents these guys from coming over here, but it's big enough to at least protect us if we're. In a situation where we're getting hunted down by these guys, he even does it for the baby ones too. Yeah, look, oh wait, yeah, look at that. So was that like three, four blocks away from the mushroom itself, and they're not going to come any closer? Seems like it. And you know what? This is actually a good way of kill. Oh, oh, took a little bit of damage, and then he just ran away. I like this. I like this much. I need to see what it's called again, but I, I need to pick it to see. But uh, oh, oh, we're getting chased again. We're down about two hearts right now. Not that big of a deal. I don't know how many arrows we have. We have six, so it's not that bad. So I could actually use a use one arrow to snipe these guys down, but he's probably li I, oh oh there we go now he's down. So we have we have some leather there, we have some pork. There we go, kill them, or at least do a swipe at them just to let them know who's heckin' boss, right? But now we can grab this mushroom. Oh, I wonder if I'm holding it if they'll still ward off. Like if I'm holding it in my offhand or whatever. Well, let's get away from this mushroom. And let him uh, come over here. Oh, oh, got him right in the pigtail. Cut the pigtail off that swirly little thing. <laughs> oh man, I took a damage right there. Nice. Killed him though, so that's good. Is there another one around here though? I don't know. Definitely want to get more than just one. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. I wonder if they're uh, afraid of that one. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So it seems like they're not ward off as, if it's just sitting there though, but it is a baby, so this one's not going to do as much damage. And if I hit it a couple times, it just kind of runs away, which is good. That's at least what I noticed. Uh, nether bricks, or nether brick fences. We can get rid of those. I'm like these mushrooms, you guys. So if we do build a base over here, definitely want to at least maybe surround our base. With these specific mushrooms, let's put them down here so I can keep track of how many I have. So I have two right now, which is good. But yeah, I definitely want to place them next to our base to kind of create a safe zone from the hoglins. So that sounds good, you guys. I love it. And right down there is like to the... I don't know if... What, you know, sea level? I guess lava level down there for the nether. So if I want to go down there and possibly find some striders, I need to have the thing, though. What is it called? Uh, oh yeah, what are these called? Wart fungus. So I guess a wart fungus on a stick. Yeah, there's another one there. So I'm gonna have three right here. But I need to. Ha I need to have that to actually come in around. But I do have a saddle right now, so I could actually put the saddle on. But I guess I'll just wander around aimlessly. I'm not going to be able to control. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Place that down. And relatively uh, safe right now from the hog. Nice. Oh, look at that. They're hunting down that hog. Oh man, I wonder if we could actually like corner the second hog by. Oh man. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Did I accidentally just hit a piglin? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hold on. We have a hog right here, and he's afraid of the mushroom. That's so crazy, you guys. It's, it's like a kitten to a creeper. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What just did that damage? I don't think he did that much damage. I must have got some ac accidental damage from a piglin there or something. Wait, are they actually picking up this? Oh, I mean, they are. Man, that means I need to go over there and actually grab this stuff before they grab it. Sheesh. <laughs> but, yeah, we need to heal up. Golly. Thankfully, I have some golden apples in my, uh, my hot bar right now, though, so I could just, uh... Use those if I'm like at hacking half a heart, one heart, or whatever. Oh yeah, let's go this way so we can find some more. We're gonna have three right there, so that's good. I'd say let's try and get up like I don't know, maybe like ten. That seems like it's going to be enough to at least do a whole perimeter of a base to make sure we have a full safe zone from Hoglin. Oh, another one right here. If we uh, if we're getting hunted down, chased down, whatever by Hoglins. 